Well, good morning, everybody, and a very warm welcome to morning prayer on this Monday morning. It's Monday the 8th of June, and it's really great if you can join us for prayer this morning. As always, you can follow along on the Daily Prayer app or by following the link in the post description. Let's take a moment of quiet, shall we, as we begin our prayers. Loving God, we come to you now in need of you. We come to you now at the beginning of this new week to ask for your help. We look to you for strength, for vision, for direction. We look to you for wisdom and guidance. We bring to you people, excuse me, <coughs> excuse me, we bring to you people and situations in our world and lift them up to you. In Jesus' name, Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, Set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Three psalms this morning, and they're the first three, one, two, and three. So starting with Psalm 1. Blessed is the one who does not walk in step with the wicked. Or stand in the way that sinners take, or sit in the company of mockers. But whose delight is in the law of the Lord, who meditates on his law day and night. That person is like a tree planted by streams of water, which yields its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever they do prospers. Not so the wicked. They are like chaff that the wind blows away. Therefore the wicked will not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord watches over the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked leads to destruction. Psalm 2 Why did the nations conspire and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us break their chains and throw off their shackles. The one enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. He rebukes them in his anger and terrifies them in his wrath, saying, I have installed my king on Zion my holy mountain. I will proclaim the Lord's decree. He said to me, You are my son. Today I have become your father. Ask me and I will make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your possession. You will break them with a rod of iron. You will dash them to pieces like pottery. Therefore, you kings, be wise. Be warned, you rulers of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and celebrate his rule with trembling. Kiss his son, or he will be angry, and your way will lead to your destruction, for his wrath can flare up in a moment. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Psalm 3 <clears throat> Lord, how many are my foes! How many rise up against me! Many are saying of me, God will not deliver him. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord, and he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake again because the Lord sustains me. 
I will not fear, though tens of thousands assail me on every side. Arise, Lord, deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw, break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. Shield us, Lord, from all evil, and lift us from apathy and despair, that even when we are terrified, we may trust your power to save, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The Old Testament reading this morning is from the book of Joshua. We continue with Joshua 7, verses 1 to 15. Joshua 7, verses 1 to 15. But the Israelites were unfaithful in regard to the devoted things. Achan, son of Carmi, the son of Zimri, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took some of them. So the Lord's anger burned against Israel. Now Joshua sent men from Jericho to Ai, which is near Beth-Avon, to the east of Bethel, and told them, Go up and spy out the region. So the men went up and spied out Ai. When they returned to Joshua, they said, Not all the army will have to go up against Ai. Send two or three thousand men to take it, and do not weary the whole army, for only a few people live there. So about three thousand went up, but they were routed by the men of Ai, who killed about thirty-six of them. They chased the Israelites from the city gate as far as the stone quarries and struck them down on the slopes. At this the hearts of the people melted in fear and became like water. Then Joshua tore his clothes and fell face down to the ground before the ark of the Lord, remaining there till evening. The elders of Israel did the same and sprinkled dust on their heads. And Joshua said, Alas, sovereign Lord, why did you ever bring this people across the Jordan to deliver us into the hands of the Amorites to destroy us? If only we had been content to stay on the other side of the Jordan. Pardon your servant, Lord. What can I say now that Israel has been routed by its enemies? The Canaanites will, and the other people of the country will hear about this, and they will surround us and wipe out our name from the earth. What then will you do for your own great name? The Lord said to Joshua, Stand up. What are you doing down on your face? Israel has sinned. They have violated my covenant which I commanded them to keep. They have taken some of the devoted things. They have stolen. They have lied. They have put them with their own possessions. That is why the Israelites cannot stand against their enemies. They turn their backs and run because they have been made liable to destruction. I will not be with you any more unless you destroy whatever among you is devoted to destruction. Go, consecrate the people. Tell them, consecrate yourselves in preparation for tomorrow. For this is what the Lord, the God of Israel, says. There are devoted things among you, Israel. You cannot stand against your enemies until you remove them. In the morning, present yourselves tribe by tribe. The tribe that the Lord chooses shall come forward clan by clan. The clan that the Lord chooses shall come forward family by family. And the family that the Lord chooses shall come forward man by man. Whoever is caught with the devoted thing shall be destroyed by fire, along with all that belongs to him. He has violated the covenant of the Lord and has done an outrageous thing in Israel. The New Testament reading is from the Gospel of Luke. Luke chapter 10, starting at verse 25. Luke chapter 10, starting at verse 25. The parable of the Good Samaritan. 
On one occasion, an expert in the law stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? What is written in the law? Jesus replied. How do you read it? He answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbour as yourself. You have answered correctly, Jesus replied. Do this and you will live. But he wanted to justify himself, so he asked Jesus, And who is my neighbour? In reply, Jesus said, a man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him and went away, leaving him half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. But a Samaritan, as he travelled, came where the man was, and when he saw him he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbour to the man who fell into the hands of robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. The Benedictus, the Song of Zechariah. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. I will give you shepherds after my own heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. So we come to our prayers of intercession. Let us pray. Father God, we give you thanks for this time that we have that we can join together in prayer. We thank you for your church, your people, and you pray, we pray that you would make us more and more into the people that you want us to be. 
Lord, we thank you for the glorious truth that all people are made in your image. We thank you for the truth that in Christ there is no Jew or Gentile, male or female, but all are one in Christ. And we pray that you would help us to live out these truths and that you would help us to love our neighbours, love our enemies, to show mercy as the Good Samaritan showed mercy across um, the human made differences in our world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for our schools. We continue to pray for those schools that are opening. Pray especially for our church school, St Bartholomew's Church of England Academy, uh, which is opening for some more pupils this week. We pray for those pupils returning, that they would have a good experience and feel safe. We pray for those pupils who are not able to return. And we pray for parents making difficult decisions. Pray for all teaching staff and teaching assistants. Pray for the head and the governing body, that you would lead and guide for the benefit of all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we continue to pray for all of our local care homes, for the care homes in this parish of Binley, for all who live there, for all who work in them. Pray for your protection and your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for any businesses that are opening this week, for those who work there in them. We pray for you to protect jobs and we pray for our economy, which is going to be struggling so much in the wake of this lockdown. We know that the economy is not just numbers or figures, but it's people's lives, people's jobs, people's well-being. So, Lord, have mercy in our land. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray for all those who are sick in any way. We pray for those known to us, our family members, friends or neighbours. We pray for members of our church whose names you know. We pray for those on our email list. And we ask that you be with all who are suffering in body, mind or spirit right now. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Father, we pray that you would comfort the bereaved. And we lift up to you families and friends of those who've recently died. Lord, please comfort them as only you can. And in the midst of their dark valley, let them know that you are with them. Let them turn their hearts to you and give them hope, we pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Collect for today, let us pray. O God, from whom all blessings flow, by whose providence we are kept, and by whose grace we are directed, Help us through the example of your servant, Thomas Ken, faithfully to keep your word, humbly to accept adversity, and steadfastly to worship you. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please join with me in the Lord's Prayer. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, thank you everybody for joining us, whether you're watching live or on the recording later on. Have a good day. Evening prayer will be at the usual time of 5.30 this evening. Take care. God bless.